guys, Nick from High Bike Collective here. Uh, welcome back. We are continuing with our series of construction guides for the TU 8500 preamp with phono stage from Medikit. What's next? So that we've done that. Push switch. So this is your push switch. Check, caution, check the side. It's talking about which side you solder into. So it's saying, insert from side B. This is side B, so it's inserting from this side. Cool, where do I put it though? You can see there, the switch there and there. So the identity is written and it tells you which way it's going around. So, that's good. there you go. Bangs in, that's great. Same that one up. Brilliant, nice and flush. YC socket next. So it's a eight pinner. There, there. There is an orientation on this. Mark on PCB. So switch those over. Oops, no, this way. You can see the crescent moon on there. There, which goes that way. There's crescent moon there, so that goes that way. Cool. Sorry, loading. The great thing about sold sockets for um, IECs, the fact that you're soldering just the socket and then you push the IEC in later means you, you're not actually distressing the op amp with heat. You're just distressing the socket which can cope. I'll put the op amps in later. Don't do it, I'll do that later. And similar story. Ooh, I think we have to solve this straight in. There's an orientation to this one as well, which is clearly marked on the body of the of the, the device. It's a bit of a bummer to put in. There we go. Just make sure all the pins are in nicely there. I'll pop the other one in. Great, just double check you've got the orientation in. Yeah, yeah. I see one, I see four. Sorry, I see three, I see four. Ah. So yeah, there's two different types. I mean, luckily I'll put them in the right. Hole. So I see four, which is this one, is a 4040B, and that's what it is, TC4040B, whereas I see three is 40106. 40106. So watch out for that, because, I mean, luckily I didn't do it incorrectly, but could easily have done it. Well, right, I'm going to solder these in, but again, I'm going to take my time with it. Do one and the other side, just so you're not putting too much heat on the on it. So there you go, fitted quite nicely. All good. Next piece is the LM two nine four zero. Caution: check the direction. So it says bend the leads. Easily done. So like that. And it's got a screw. It's got a screw fit there. So I'm going to do the screw before I solder it in. 
Nice. Obviously these pins relate to different parts, so it has to be the right way around, and you can see the picture there. So you've got I, G, O, I, input, K, output. Cool, so that's all good. Some of that in. Again, just do one leg, wait a second. Other leg. Snip it. Midget fuse holder now. For these bits. Mark on PCB fuse. Fuse is here. Again, these are orientated. If you look on here, one side has a little flap there. That's the outside edge. And then it's drawn in there anyway. Might as well pop the fuse in. Right connectors now. See the orientation there. Pretty good. That's the CN1. You can see here, this is the CN two, which is a seven pin. Now, it's very important that you get it right because it depends on what voltage your mains is. So you've got 100 volt, 115 volt, 200 volt, 230 volt. So obviously we're 230 volt. So we'll pop it in the 230 volt slot. I'll just pop the relay in as well. This is the relay here. RY it's called on the board. Oh, I there. You can only go in one way because the way the pins are. Brilliant, that was easy. Right, I'll sort all that up now. Volume potentiometer. So the volume potentiometer, which is this, you can tell it's a volume potentiometer because obviously it turns. The switch looks similar, but when you turn it, you can hear it click, 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 click. So there's a volume pot and it mounts here. It says, check, oh no, that's the other one. Check the direction right there. Cool, see it there? Pointing into this way. So you must have a rod that goes through there, actually. Solder that in. And then you've got the switch, rotary switch, which is here, and that fits there. Again, get it the right way around. Make sure it's tight in, flat in. And then it speaks about this, unit five. Which way around does it go? It's got to go that way. Right, okay. And then to put the fixing screws on. all their volume switch. So there must be rods that go through this. I'm sure there is later. We'll be putting those in. So we're now on to the capacitors. Right, two, two, threes, a yellow, 
I was looking for orange. Not directional, so either way around. So there's three of those. I mean, there's definitely room for upgrade this kit, which we might do. But I always like to build a kit with what you get the standard and then upgrade it later so you know what's going on. So you can hear the difference. Right, I'm just load in. That's it for this video. To see more, uh, follow the links below. Will there be links below?